What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Nate back with another video. And today's video we're talking about why the Raptors shouldn't get an NBA superstar right now with the likes of Kawhi Leonard, LeBron James, and Giannis Antetokounmpo. And they should just keep with what they have. If you are new and you want to hear more about the Raptors, make sure to hit the subscribe button. It goes a long way if you can hit the subscribe button because it means getting recommended the algorithm. So if you can hit that subscribe button, you very much appreciate it. And let's get right into the topic of discussion for today's video. With the Raptors right now, why they shouldn't get an NBA superstar right now is because they have a good starting five in Pascal Siakam, Fed Van Vliet, Kawhi Barnes, OG Aranobi, and Gary Trent Jr. This lab collectively scores over about 10 to 15 points per game, which is collectively good as a group. But the only thing they lack is Ben Shep, and I think they don't really need that right now. As they had good chemistry, good coaching by Nick Nurse, and they have many things to carry off of. So in today, we'll be talking about why I don't need a superstar and all the positive the team has. So if y'all want to hear more about this, I'll explain why later on in the video. But let's get the video started for today's portion of discussion. So as of right now, the starting lineup of the Raptors right now is Pascal Siakam, Pet Family, Gary Trent Jr., OG, and Scotty Barnes, I'll tell you the hard given truth, all score about 15 points per game. How it's going around though is Pascal gets 22.8 points per game, Pet Family gets 20.3, Gary Trent Jr. gets 18.3 points per game, OG gets 17.1, and Scotty gets 15.3. The similarities and good thing about the starting five is they all shoot 30% from the three point line and all shoot 40% from the field. But the bad thing about it here is they all play 30 plus minutes a night, which Nick Nurse highly relies on the starters too much. The only thing is here that needs to be given is more bench help with players like Otto Porter, Chris Boucher, Thaddeus Young, Malachi Flynn, and many others. If the bench they can come together, it can provide a problem for the league and make the Raptors a good team overall and getting back to the championship after where they were in 2019. After the Raptors just lacking a big and depth health, so I think where they gotta go from is from their depth perspective and just playing collectively as a unit as they always do. From this conclusion here, we know the starting lineup is very good, but like I said, the bench still needs rebuilding and retooling in time if the Raptors roster. So if the Raptors can get it done, it'd be very much but as for rappers, how they play the Lily is a Lily run on the fast break and they're Lily push the pace and score in the paint with their length and verticality. But honestly, they still shoot the three ball on some nights. It'll be a tough doubt for the rappers to even come across. But honestly, I think the rappers, honestly, they don't really need a superstar because their scoring is balanced and it's not through one person, like for example, like a Kawhi Leonard. Though their scoring was still balanced, but all scoring will Lily be populated in his area, but honestly, I think the scoring for the Raptors is pretty balanced as everyone game about, you can say, 10 to 15 points per game and carrying on with. But I think the Raptors, if they keep it this way, then keep your scoring balanced and you can keep your defensive rotations the same as always, as they always play your defense anyways, but I think the offense is where it's supposed to come. But honestly, I think the only issue with the Raptors is that they play good defense, they just need more offensive firepower, so I think they don't need a superstar. I don't think they need a superstar right now, but Lily, they just have to get their offensive firepower together, like more shoes on the court, and they should be fine. But I don't think there's anything else, because if the Raptors, honestly, the only bad thing about them is they struggle to create offense, and that's where a superstar like Kawhi Leonard comes in. But I think if they can keep playing this way, they can develop ways to play that team and not screw a player. Like for example, like you say, Kawhi Leonard at most, as he can create his own shot. But honestly, I think the Raptors, they play the unit and together their team, they can literally cause havoc or problems for any team they come across after many teams in the NBA, like they did last season in the 2022 playoffs. So I don't think the Raptors they have any issues even come across right now. But I just think it's offensive firepower. That's why. Many people say they need a superstar, but I don't really need it as a result. But as for rappers, let's look at the shooting splits they have for this season here, and let's see it here. As for rappers, honestly, for shooting splits, I think the outcome and most of the stars they take most of the shots. As for bench, just dips in shot percentage and time. So honestly, I think the rappers they score collectively the starting unit. They just have to get that bench together, and then when it comes down to the playoffs, I think literally if a star can get about. 10 to 20 points per night that can do it and then you just need help from the role players as in the role players in the playoffs the games get tight and they need help from their bench so i think the rappers bench and they get a couple of pieces like you added auto porter already i think the rappers can figure out their bench problem as if they can score collectively they can solve their bench problems as a unit but honestly i think this rapper team can be very much 
a bit better than last season, so I don't think you really need a superstar yet. He has these bench players, like, for example, like, in 2019, when we had a championship, you had players at bench, like I said already. Bad Van Lee, OG Anobi, Danny Green, um, who else can you say? Sergio Barca and many others, Norman Powell. Like, there's many people I can think of off this list that was good outside Raptors bench, so yeah, Kawhi Leonard as a superstar. But, like I said, the Raptors always play their team and they play collectively as a unit. So I don't think they really need a superstar right now, either learning to play together and just learning under the coach of the mastermind, Nick Nurse, I'm gonna get into next. But we all know Nick Nurse's coaching teams are pretty crazy as he literally harassed players like Giannis, harassed players like Kevin Durant, he harassed players like LeBron. He almost harassed everybody in the NBA due to his heavy defensive schemes. Like for example, when he ran the boxing one against Stephen Curry in the NBA Finals, and then when he ran that wall defense against Giannis Antetokounmpo, in the 2019 compound. But that series was crazy, but honestly, the Raptors are known for a defense and a heavy mastermind coach named Nick Nurse. As a very good coach, and he won coach of the year, so, and he won a championship, so what more can you say about this guy, Nick Nurse? But honestly, I think Nick Nurse will honestly lead the Raptors in the right direction. As a great coach, and he knows the schemes on defense, and he has decent offensive efficiencies plan, so I don't think Nick Nurse really has an issue, but I think Nick Nurse he knows what he's doing for every occasion, so that's why I think you don't need a superstar because literally Nick Nurse leads the ways on both ends, on offense and defensive court, and he controls all sets of a team from a coaching aspect, so I don't think the Raptors have anything to worry about in getting a superstar right now, in my opinion. But as for Raptors, yes, it's a nice type of superstar, but I don't think you need a superstar all the time because literally having a superstar, once that player is gone, it's hard to rebuild around them, like for example, when he lost to Mar Rose and yet to get Kawhi Leonard for a year as a rental, but afterwards, where do you rebuild from there? Literally, you had your pieces like Kyle Lowry, Pascal Siakam, Pet Family, OJ Anobi, and you had many others like Norman Powell. But after that, where do you go from there? Larry the Raptors tank for Scotty Barnes. And then they rebuilt from there and added more assets, but they just added more pieces onward. But I think everyone from the Raptors championship team is leaving. As for Fed and Pascal, they're still on a team and OG, they're still on a team, but many of the Raptors, they're new and fresh young faces. So I think for the Raptors, it's going to have a lot of time for them to grow and develop and bond as a group. But I think the Raptors, honestly, they can take their time, really just keep playing the team and play together as they always do and play good hard defense on both sides of the court. I think the Raptors they can cause a problem for anyone in the NBA. Like I said, the Raptors right now, I don't even see what's that right now. Masai knows and he knows what he's doing. I think for the Raptors, they just gotta keep going with what they have and really like what most people say, if it's broke, don't fix it. So honestly, I think the Raptors are in the right direction and they don't have to train anybody and they should literally keep your starting five and literally get off the bench from here on out with young players and like I said the rapper don't really need a superstar right now and those are my points where the rappers don't really need to trade for a superstar right now like Kevin Durant so here are my thoughts on that and it's your boy Demi I'm signing out peace y'all and it's your boy Demi I'm signing out have a great day y'all peace